we're, we'd love to hear from you because everybody always thinks that you're Dawn or somebody. Yeah. That, and I can tell that age. Oh, just, here no. they are. They, they, they stuck to their, uh, awesome. so, Hey. Hello. How are you? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes, we can really well. Well, would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? We have a female. It is <laughs> not Don Wells. <laughs> nope. It is not Don Wells. So are you from the area of the Wells? No, I'm not. I oh. actually started talking to Donald early into this. Um, oh, really? Mm-hmm. And okay. trust me. They know what happened to Summer. They know. Um, Candace is hiding. She's avoiding. Um, really, people need to be calling Candace out. She knows what happened. Uh, she's, she's a lot meaner of a human than we're seeing. I mean, what you guys see is Candace when she's um, putting on her show of, oh, I'm so kind. I'm the big victim. But if you talk to Donald and evening when Candace is screaming, you're a eight, you're a this, you're a that, you're oh my god, she is off the wall crazy. Mm. Truthfully. So, no, she wasn't in the video with the little girl, hun. She don't live around there. So, when you started talking to Don, how long did you talk with him for? For months. Matter of fact, the letters, the, the um, statements that he was putting out, about summer i wrote uh -huh. those statements for him trying to get him to focus on summer to start talking about summer wow but, okay. but you know um he just put them out there and nothing i mean he took the credit for for the statements but okay so when you talk to don did he say anything about or suggest anything about him knowing what has happened with Summer? He said that um, I think I'm safe because um, I, I'm pretty sure because I was at work, right? Right. Wow. What do you okay. mean? I mean, if you don't know anything, why would you be worrying about if you're safe or not? Right. Have you been in touch with TBI with information you have? Yes. Okay, yes, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yes, very I have. Much. He had a co-worker. I was on the phone with him and he and a co-worker where he was working. Because he can't talk to really nobody at home around Candace because Candace is like crazy. She's crazy. She's off the wall. Um, cusses everybody. She's super uh -huh. mean. For some reason, she's got this fantasy that everybody wants Donald. Okay, Candace, if that makes you feel better about happening, go for it, hon. Right. <laughs> So, um, when so, you were anyway, um, he was at work. A coworker had came in. Um, I was on the phone with him, and the coworker came in to talk to him. And next thing I know, the coworker started screaming, "Oh my gosh, what's that smell? What's that smell? Oh my gosh, it smells like death in here!" Oh my and god, then, for real. And okay, then, so let me and, pause you for just one second. I'm sorry. Do you know where this was? Like what site, town, anything? It was wherever he was working. Um, it was, it was, he had two, it was when he was saying to everyone, I'm having <laughs> problems concentrating and doing my work and I need to be getting my work done. Oh my um, it was during that time. Do you know the co-worker's name by any chance? Did he no, mention? no, I don't, but I was going to get off the phone with him so he could talk with whoever came in. And the guy wasn't wanting to talk to him. The guy's like, I'm out of here. He was running, and Donald was standing there trying to convince him that it was some rank drywall mud. Oh my God. Well, it, was, okay. it was some ranked up drywall mud, and he done poured. I, I think the guy was you know, going to try to look around, and Donald's like, but I done disposed of it outside somewhere. And, um, yeah, the, you know, so the guy couldn't find the nasty drywall mud. But I used to um, case and base and was around a lot of drywalling and everything. And mm -hmm. I can now drywall mud does not stink. It don't smell like death. 
Right. Now, how long ago was this, if you can recall? It just doesn't. Are you there, love? Oh, no. Did we lose her? Huh. I'm... Okay. Uh, Damn it. You're buffering, um, Prayer Garden. I see. Okay. I think Am you're good. Sure? Yeah, I think you're good now. How long ago was that? That you it was around. It was around three or more weeks ago. I say three or four weeks ago. I called TBI. I called TBI a couple weeks ago, and it was like probably a couple weeks, maybe a week or a couple weeks before that, wherever he was. I know he had moved from one place to another. He was um, working at this one particular place that he said he had to finish up before he moved to a new place. So. It was somewhere in between that. So TBI Easter. is aware of the of the smell. nasty smell, and yeah. I told him go talk to the coworker because right. the coworker definitely knows he said what I'm saying. Uh -huh. He was there. He's the one was screaming that it smells. It smells. It smells like death in here. Yeah. Seriously, you know, I just thought. Because everybody was saying, you know, everybody was saying Donald Bass and sewer water and everything. So I'm just thinking it was probably maybe him. I, I didn't know, mm -hmm. you right. know, and I didn't want to be rude, Yeah. but, you know, but then after I thought about it, you know, and I asked him, um, told him about true saying that they bathed in sewer water and everything. And he said, no, that was a lie, that they had real water and everything at their house. So I just assumed that, okay, well, maybe it wasn't you. So what was it? Mm -hmm. right. You know, it needed to be checked out. And also, he's sitting there blaming everyone. Like, he blames everyone for summer. Mr. Dobbs, the red truck, the yellow car, this, that. He's sitting there running you guys around in a circle. He's running you around the bush. You know. Uh huh. It's now. It's, um, if I can ask you, do you have like uh, some sort of proof that you have been in contact with Don and you can back up what you're saying? And I'm not trying to say like I don't believe you or anything. It's just that with so many rumors and you know all this hearsay, it's important to kind of ask these type of questions you know what i'm saying yes i have i have i have plenty of where he's um emails and i have texas on my phone and i okay. have you know yes but i do not tape record nobody i'm not going to tape record people right i don't want to be tape recorded right so I don't, you know i don't believe in that kind of stuff you know right. i want to give donald and candace the benefit of the doubt right he was attacking them everybody was being mean to them and I and they were going to church. They look like Christian people and everything, which I'm a Christian myself. And I thought, you know, um, nobody was supporting them. So, you know, I reached out to Donald. I started talking to him. I started trying to help him. And um, like the night that he called Mary on the phone um, and did that prank thing. He calls me up and he asks us, gives me Mary's phone number, asks me to call his sister Mary and tell her I'm a police I'm like, I'm not going to do that. I mean, you could you could go to jail for things like this. You know, I know the law, and you do not ever present yourself as a police officer or any one in the police force at all. Right. And you know, I didn't. For him. also, I did not like share. I did not agree with what he was doing. You know, that's really super mean. But then, you know. I told him, I said, so what do you want, to, what was you trying to prove, that they're taking you or not? So, you know, he he grabbed that and ran with it. Um, so, you know, when did you start yeah, noticing, when did you start noticing your opinion? That they're, the, that they're not the good Christian people that they are? Yeah. Are they, are they, are they portray themselves to be? Yeah. How, yeah. how long into it did you... Did it take for you to notice that? Around the time that he, they made the call to Mary. Okay. Um, okay. And, you know, I mean, I know Donald had the SA charges on him and everything when he was younger. But, you know, your past does not defy who you are. 
Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've all had a rough path. Mm. If you've been alive on this earth very long, you, you've had some problems. We all have our problems. Yeah, and, but I mean, Jeannie was five, so it's a little... I understand. I understand what you're saying. I do. I can respectfully agree to disagree. <laughs> can I ask real quick? Sorry, because my daughter was talking. Of my, I'm gonna have to rewind and re-listen to this because, unfortunately, my daughter was like talking to me, begging me to get this dog while you were talking the whole time. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you I, again. How long did you say you were talking to Don? Mm. I've been talking to him for a few months. We're oh, months? This is, the fourth, this is the fourth month. The oh, you still month. talk to him? I've been talking to him um, pretty much within a couple weeks of Summer's disappearance. Uh, does he know that you're uh, suspicious of him? He does now. What's he say? He just Does he have anything to say about it? He, I, Donald's one of those people that are, you know... <laughs> He's always the victim. What did I do? What did I say? Or he'll blame it on Candace, you know, um, for his for his short fuse and his meanness. He'll he'll act like Candace did it, and Candace is the same way. You know, she'll holler, "You don't know Donnie. You don't know the story. You don't know this. You don't know that." And um, I'm just saying they're off the wall. They're both. So I did. Did you reach out to him first? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yes, um, I did. So have you talked to, you probably already said, you've, have you talked to Candace directly or just heard her in the background and stuff? Yes, I have talked to Candace directly. And, really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Thanks, and Candace. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Candace has called me every name of the book and then a few. She's really off the wall she's mean um you want to go down to where they live and throat punch her if you listen to her very long wow. um she does try to be a little nice like she told me that um people's been sending her cash cards somebody took stole fifty dollars off of it though and um wow. she, she also told me that summer the day she came up missing she was wearing a t-shirt and a pair of shorts um <gasps> That's really. Me. That's what she told me. Did she say what color they were? No, I I think she did, but I cannot remember the color. Now was this on the um, phone or through text? I was on the phone. Um, Damn. She was drinking. Um, she. I was speaking with her. Donald kept giving her the phone. He said, "Sissy, can you please be good friends with Candace? Could you call Candace?" Hey, can you talk with Candace? So, you know, I felt sorry for Candace. I was wanting to be both of their friends, but yeah. Candace was one of those people that, you know, um, I don't know. She's just different. And um, anyway, mm -hmm. I truly assured Candace, you know, I am not looking for anybody's husband or anybody, you know, anybody, period. Um, my husband passed away with cancer, and, you know, that's enough for I'm me. Sorry. But um, yeah. anyway, was you know, Don ever like flirtatious with you or claiming to love you, like be in love with you or anything to, in that nature? You know what? Donald said he was going to have to divorce Candace and things like that. But to be honest with you, not really. No, um, I let you know <clears throat> if he started to get like off the path I let him know right away that you know um I when you love someone and they pass away you just ain't going to care about somebody else like right. that you know what I'm saying and, right. and I have my kids and everything I'm not interested in nothing like that at all with nobody mm -hmm. so you know has he, has he mentioned anything to you about like and, and anything you don't want to answer just say I, I prefer not to answer um like about like the other kids, like why they were taken or anything. Yeah, because he got all hate up and um, fell off the bandwagon and he screwed up. And you know they were going to take the kids anyway because of you could see, you know, I'm sorry, but I am upset because you know Candace is a stay-at-home mom. 
She does not have to go out there and work like, you know, a lot of us did. And uh -huh. she doesn't, you know, worrying about, you know how it is to be a parent. You're at work and your mind's constantly worried about your kids and everything. Um, no matter who the babysitter <laughs> is, you're still freaked out about, you know, um, you just got to get through your days and you're still worried about your children all the time. Mm -hmm. And, but Candace got to be that stay at home mom that gets to, you know, be with the kids, clean house, cook, do all the great things and bake cookies. And mm -hmm. look at that place. It's a pigsty. She could have been painting. Yeah. She could have been, you know, instead of buying baits and all the crap, she could have been buying paint. She could have been buying clothes. Do you know all the summer school clothes came from a yard sale? Wow. Yeah, her school clothes come from a yard sale. How can you buy weed and liquor and vapes and all of these things, but not your child new clothes from a real store? Right. And the kids have body lice. They have, you know, scabies. I'm and sorry, what was that? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 what? Did, did they have body lice and scabies? Is that confirmed? Okay, scabies for sure. Donald says scabies for sure. <gasps> Told you guys. Wow. Yeah. Told you guys. How oh, you guys eat that? Stick that in your pipe. And Told stick. you. Rose Welsh. How about that, Rose? You batch. Sorry. I'm so, sorry for regarding But you know, so so Don did confirm scabies then. Yes, he did. What about the body lice? You don't know for sure on that? I'm one? not I'm not for sure on the body lice, but I do know he said scabies. Jesus so Christ. They, what did, they did have that. And um I don't, I don't know. It's just, you know. Wow, Candace thank you is, so much. Candace mm -hmm. is a super lazy human being. That's, she's a waste of space on this earth, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. You know, I, don't tell me you're a, a Christian. Don't portray you're a Christian, because Christians do not drink. We do not take drugs. We do not do anything that, you know, alters or impairs our mind from being able to do, you well, know, yeah. God's That's work and the work that we need to be doing for others on this earth, especially our own children, our own family. What, um, what, what, about the Don, what, what made Don confirm the scabies thing to you? Like, how did that come about? We was talking about the body lice. I said, oh, did you hear that they were saying that the kids have body lice and uh -huh. all of this? And he said scabies. They had scabies. Oh, yeah. so what about the lie detector? Did he admit to tell you anything about the lie detector test? He said that when they first went and took the, to take the test, Candace was real. Um, that Candace was all nervous and everything and she just couldn't pass it. And then um, they had to wait a few days and Candace had to go back and she had to take the test again. And that time, he guessed, he figures, you know, yeah, I guess she passed it. But then um, they wanted her to do what well, she was at. She was at the police station. And the police station told her, no, you came out of your driveway twice. And she, I was on the phone with Donald She came when she came back to the car because he took her there. When she came back to the car and she told, are you there? Yes. Anyway, yes. anyway, she told um, Donald, them effing mother, this, 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 calling them names, um, said that they, um, that she was told them she only went out at once. She's sticking to her story. That's the way it is. And they don't need to be questioning her anymore. She is done with them. So Candace is refusing to speak with the law enforcement. And is that what you're saying? I... After that little bit of thing that went on, I what don't. I'm oh, sorry. I can't say she has not calmed down, mm -hmm. but yeah, at that point she was done talking with them. But you know, um, I do not believe nobody went up. In my opinion, and this is my opinion, nobody went up on 110 Ben, ben Hill Road and stole their child. Right. They exactly. did not. Nobody kidnapped their child. I'm going to tell you, and not only that, but I have got the timeline down. I went over the timeline, and none of that's making sense either because Donald's saying the kid got kidnapped at 6.30, and then Candace and them are trying to say 5.30, and then Jody Sue is saying, hey, I heard a scream and this and this at between 4.30 oh, and 4.42. Good. 
The scream thing. When did and that come told, about? And I, and I told Donald about the scream. And I told him, I said, it ain't adding up with the timeline. And he's like, yeah, yeah, actually it is. And I said, no, Donald, it's not. So when did he first mention the scream to you? Was this at the very, very beginning? Or uh, was this when Jody Sue came out about it? A kind no, of more recently? No, Jody Sue didn't come out about it. Donald came out about the scream. He came okay. out on Queer's show and told about the screen. Okay, so was that the first time you heard about it, though? Like, did he mention the, the screen from the beginning, or? No, no, no. Donald um, Donald and Candace are, are little mind players. They like to play with people like they did Mary, you know, with the little phone call thing. And that's what they're doing to everybody right now with the Dr. Phil show. You know, they're trying to play with everybody, you know, not wanting to give you the information and so forth. Um, that's just something they do. They they want, they want like doing that because they think that it gets to people, you know, that it gets to you, that it bothers you or whatever. Because so when I called him, he was at the Dr. Phil's or at the hotel. And he was like, you can't tell nobody. You can't tell nobody. And I'm like, what have I told people before? And he's like, but you can't say nothing. And then he told me that some woman dressed, um, that they had to catch the plane. But up at his house, he was going to send me pictures. But Candace said, no, no. And um, he said, if Candace wants you to. If, if, he, if she allows it and can't, well, he knows Candace ain't going to allow nothing. So I don't know if it's true or not. It could be. Uh, a lie. Is, uh, is Jody Sue their friend? Do you know if uh, Jody Sue's that's friend? Another, yeah. And you know, another thing that pissed me off too, because Donald, um, cause when I first started talking to Donald, I kind of thought that maybe two ton alley took summer, done something to summer. Uh -huh. And, you know, and so forth, but, n and maybe that Hunter and True, um, my focus was kind of on them because, well, you seen them, I didn't need to say uh -huh. that, but anyhow, um, yeah, and that's who Jody I'm Sue is her friend? You're saying Jody Sue is her friend? She is, and I'm going to tell you now, her and this guy she calls Baltimore, Mr. Brown, uh -huh. um, well, that's what Donald, he lied to me about. He told me that he could, I said, it could be somebody that's able to see your house, you know, from your door. And he says, there's a guy, I open my door and there's a guy, a neighbor that can see my house. He says, I'm going to stick around because I told him to go to Allie's. If he really believed Allie and him did it, go to their neighborhood, hand out flyers, put up um flyers all over the place around there on all the telephone poles go door to door because if they had some or someone the neighbors or something may have seen something and they ain't heard about summer yet i mean me being a parent if i think somebody did it i'd be crawling through their window and check their house i mean personally that's your kid i mean yeah. I might want them out of the way and go through their house. You right. know what I'm I don't care. Police can come and get me, but I'm going through the house. So, how but, do you know that? Are you, or, sorry, um, if you're, are you explaining how you know for a fact that Jody is her friend? Do you know this for exactly? A fact? Well, see, here's where the lie came in. He told me that he went over to Jody Sue's house, the neighbor's house, is what he's telling me. He said there was a man there laughing and talking about his wife. He said that, um, he, they had just got back from court and he was going to put his wife in a nut house, threatening her, putting her in a nut house and everything. And, and, and she believed him and, you know, she believed that he could do all these things to her. So she let him have everything and, and give him a divorce. And he was laughing about it. Donald act like he kind of, um, admired this guy for his dirtiness and what he'd done but then I you know I'm like wow that you know and then he started feeling sorry like he feels sorry for this wife and everything and that was a dirty thing to do once he seen you know I wasn't going to be happy about it and um admire anybody for something like that at all and then later I find out that and I told him I asked him at the time I said do you know this man and he's like no but I think he might have did something to my daughter and I'm like what really Mm -hmm. He's talking about Baltimore. Yes, he was. Yes, he yes. was. And then I found out later 
that they were friends and that Candace was taking pictures of Jody Sue's abuse and, and documenting it and everything. And um, and I guess Jody Sue was listening to some of Candace's BS about Donald and so forth. And yeah, I mean, are they friends? What does that sound like to you? Yeah, because well, a stranger go, didn't come go out. The road and ask a stranger to take pictures of your wounds. Yeah, because the screen thing came out like it, it didn't come out at the beginning when Summer first went missing. So yeah. I always thought that it was weird that that was something that was not mentioned. And Donald until, also told me that Candace still has the pictures of Jody Sue, still has those pictures. Wow. So what about, uh, thank you so much. Like, wow, I'm so happy you came up. Like, you're answering. I really appreciate this. And, you know, maybe someday if you want to prove stuff and send me some screenshots, it's fine. But right now, I'm just happy that you're up here talking. Well, yeah, um, I, tried, I tried to get up on um, that one guy. His name's something H. Uh, hmm. I'm not Scott sure. H. Scott H. Scott oh, H. Scott H. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well... And big, he was like super mean to me. Just super well, mean to me. Showed me out. Was well, you know, probably because he's like super. I think he's really. I love Scott H, but they're very supportive of of Jody Sue. So I don't know if that. I don't know. What about well, um? It wasn't what about, about Hunter. Hunter. What about Hunter? Did you mention ever mention to uh to Don that you heard that something about an uh, inappropriate relationship with Hunter and Candace? Was that has that ever come up? Yes, and Donald, 100%. I'm going to be honest with you. You know uh, Jose. Yes? Jose, yes, the guy yes, that yes. Chris Moss and everything. Well, we're all women here. And mm -hmm. as women, we know that if some man staying at your house and your wife jumps up off the sofa and smacks you around like she did Donald when he got back and so forth, she's, you know, taken up for this man. And Allie Dunn took off then you can pretty much imagine what already went on there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, a woman ain't going to keep some man around her house for nothing. And because um, he would have had to leave the same time Allie did. It's like, oh, no, if you're a good wife, it's, oh, no, that man's going with you. Yeah, right. You're leaving him here. But, right. if you, but if the woman let him stay, then, you know, she's got a bed partner. And anyway, it's just the way it is. But no, Donald, Donald don't believe that. I mean, um, Candace has got Donald convinced she's only been with two men. The one she had the first kids from and. Okay. Him. Okay. So, you know, that's BS. So he you doesn't know. believe anything with any inappropriate relationship between her and, um, uh, and Hunter then. He thinks I, that think, just I, I think Candace could get caught banging somebody and Donald would go into denial. Okay. You know, that's just and the I'm, way it is. And I'm not, I'm not having anybody else up on panel right now when we have, cause we're, we're, uh, it gets too crazy, but when prayer garden drops then we have, so yeah, right now I'm not accepting anybody else up on panel. Sorry guys. Um, um, I do have another question for you. Prayer. Did, has Donald ever talked about summer to you, like anything? Like, don't memories, want to you know, you know. We talk about our kids. You know what I mean? Has he ever talked about her to you at all? Yes. yes. What has he um, said? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I'm going to tell you the one thing he, you know, he told me that you know he really loves summer. And, you know, that was his, his baby, his pride, his joy. He really, really did love Summer. And um, I believe that. I believe he did love his daughter. Um, and Donald said that, you know, that he told Summer that she's going to have to start sleeping in her own bed. And um, Summer said... You know, started crying and she had crocodile tears in her. Well, she didn't tell me crocodile tears. He said she had tears in her eyes. And she said, but daddy, I'm scared. I want to sleep with you. And he said that, you know, what do you say to that? And I was like, you know, if you love your kid, you say, hey, you know, jump back here where you can be safe or feel safe. You know, if nothing else, get up and move it after it goes to sleep, you know, for a while. 
But um, anyway, when he was on the interview panel, for instance, he told the interview panel he didn't tell that to. He didn't tell the interview panel about Summer being scared. Uh, Daddy, I'm scared. Because you know why? He knew that he already told the police and everyone about, and probably the interview panel, about the son saying he felt really bad about, you know, Summer wanted him to go in the basement, asked him to go down the basement with her, and he declined. The boy declined. So, you know, what it tells me, you put two and two together, Summer was scared of the basement. She was afraid of that basement. So, therefore, when the brother declined her going into the basement, she didn't go down there. She did not go in the basement. She went right back out that door over where Candace, wherever Candace and grandma was. And something at that point happened to her. And to be honest with you, me personally, I think she went right back out that door because Candace done had a bad day. Candace had to take her mom to doctor. She had to get up early, which, you know, Candace, she drunken at night and all weeded up. So she was pissed that she had to get up in the morning. She's lazy as hell. She had to go running around. Then she went to Hunter's house to really want to get back with Allie. And then she gets stuck with Hunter, which she didn't want stuck with Hunter. And then she takes Hunter out and, you know, they're running around and everything. And she gets her phone call from Donald. God knows what he wanted or whatever. But Anyway, she gets back. She wants to talk to Allie because Allie's up now and everything. And Allie just blows her off into the wind. So she's pissed off. She, you know, she, all, and Hunter obviously costed her some money to run him around and everything. And they're, trust me, Candace is like tight. She, you know, I don't think she's, she don't spend no money on her kids. So you can imagine how she feels about somebody else. But anyway, she gets back home. She's probably having a bad time of everything. And then, you know, she her has to help her mom some more. She has to go in the house, pack all that stuff in with the kids and put it away and so forth. And then maybe she did go over there to help her mom a little bit. I don't know because I'm hearing that's even lies now. I'm not sure. But anyway, I just think she was having a bad day. And I think Summer got under her skin. And it's a possibility that, you know... She beat the hell out of the kid and didn't realize, you know, she killed it. Who yeah, I don't know. Never, like mention Summer's favorite toys or movies or um they said that she really liked that tangle. Um that she, you know, the frozen and they said that you know her favorite colors were purple and pink. Um, that's what Candace told me that her favorite uh-huh. colors were purple and pink. And um, Donald didn't seem to know a whole lot about. Right. He didn't even know her age. He did, yeah. He didn't seem to know a lot about, you know, anything when it came to the kids. And to be honest with you, Candace didn't seem to know a lot herself, yeah. you know. No. Did, um, <laughs> did Don ever tell you what kind of meds grandma was picking up that day oh good one he doesn't know hmm. he doesn't he has no idea what grandma was picking up that day and if he does he sure to hell ain't going to tell it yeah probably pain meds i say yeah. pain medication yeah uh, and, um, personally, personally i think you know i think grandma was a partier just like they was you know yeah. doing their own thing and Whatever. Was she told to leave? Do you know if she really was told to leave by TBI? She wasn't told to leave. She popped that ass up and got out of there because she knows whatever came down there, you know, she don't want to be a part of. Yeah. That's what Grandma did. I mean. He didn't mention anything about it, though? He said that she, you know, well, she started talking about, you know, some stuff to somebody. I don't know. Somebody she started talking to. See, Grandma's gay. And they uh-huh. think, and they think whoever she was talking to, she might have got a little likings for her, and um, you know, and started talking to this woman, which was a YouTuber that told everything on her. And then they tried to lie and say, "Oh, that wasn't Grandma. That wasn't Grandma. That was her friend," you know, to cover it up. But Donald said, you know, he pretty much, pretty sure it was her, and that her ass wasn't coming back there, and so forth. But Grandma was saying, "I ain't coming back anyway," you know. 
because she knows they're in the hot seat. TBI, FBI, police, everybody else knows what they did. It's just a matter of time. They're going to prison. And that's just the way it is. So uh, what about drug use? Did they, did uh, Don mention anything about any drugs in their system? Like what, with TBI? Yeah. yeah, they had drugs. That's why the boys got took because Donald went and snorted cocaine and drank some liquor. And you know what Candace does. Matter of fact, fact, even after the boys were gone, when, you know, a normal mom would have been like immediately, immediately as soon as Summer disappeared or so, whatever happened, you know, they're up there on 110 Ben Hill Road. A normal mom would have, you know, if you're, you got child services, any normal mom, if child services knocks on the door, mm -hmm. you immediately go into, even if your house is spotless, you start cleaning, you get the white glove out. Because yeah. you, you know, you're going into over mode and, yeah. you know, because, you know, it, this ain't a good thing. That's like the police knocking on your door. You do not want child services upon your property whatsoever. And no, Candace don't care. Let me tell you something before I forget it. Yes. Say she wanted to go to the fair with her TBI friends. I don't remember who they are. They actually called me on the phone. Wait, Candace wanted to go to the fair. Right. Her TBI friend. Oh, I'm sorry. It's PI. Okay. I'm, oh, okay. I'm like, let me just make sure I heard that correctly. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. okay yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Keep, yeah, continue though, because about what you were saying, because it sounded thank, like. Thank God for my son. He's in back of me correcting what I'm saying. But anyway, um, I'm so pissed. I am really pissed because I feel like I got used. But anyway, um, the, the, they wanted to go with their PI friends, whoever these people are to the fair. And I said, well, and, and Candace was in bed. Donnie don't want to go. He don't want to go. I don't know why I want to go to the fair and I want to have, you know, this and that. It's all about Candace and Donald. I said, Donald, why don't you go while you're there? You could look for summer, you know, cause I had been hearing about the, um, psychics and stuff, you know, talking about Ferris wheels and one thing. I'm like, hey, I would be standing next to that Ferris wheel for weeks. Right. But, you know, um, anyway, um, I said, why don't you go? You should go, you know, with her and look for Summer. And she said, no, this ain't about her. Oh what my the God. heck? What the heck? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Because that was my response. Like, what the hell? You so mom. Said, this is He's about like, this, summer. Yeah. He's like, this is about just me and Donnie. Just me and him. I want, you know. Oh, wow. So do you yeah. think it's possible she's jealous of Summer? Oh, honey, I'm telling you right now. She's jealous of anything that gets Donald's attention. Anything. Anything. A snake got his attention. She cut his head off. Seriously. Wow. Wow. Because a lot of people, you know, have said that there was jealousy between and maybe there that had something to do with. Um, so what was your theory? Did you mention your theory and what happened to her? Did you say that you think that she maybe accidentally that Candace accidentally got upset or she got upset and accidentally did something? Is that what you were I'm Thank telling you, either Candace, either Candace killed, I think that either Candace killed, in my opinion, Candace killed Little Summer, and then possibly took her down that dog trail, drug, not carried her, because she's too fat to carry anything, but she probably drugged that little girl down that dog trail, and then, so nobody would see, because she probably didn't want them, you know, the boys might run out and say, where are you going, mom, and see their sister in a vehicle or whatever. So right. it's possible when Jody Sue heard the scream, you know, that was when the little girl got bashed by mommy there, you know. Oh, so you believe the scream? You do believe the scream thing? I do. Okay. I do believe it. Um, I'm not doubting that one lick. Well, and well, then, well, how come it wasn't mentioned for like. You know, a couple months after Summer went missing, or a because, month or so, because maybe Jody Sue was scared to tell. Maybe she was scared. Uh, you know, Baltimore is not a good person, right? Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. The, okay. From my okay. from my understandings, um, 
Allie had a little girl also. Donald said that used to come up there a little about summer's age. He said she's a real pretty little thing. And um, he My said that Dawn said she's pretty. Yeah, he said okay. she's a real pretty little thing. And she was summer's age, you said? Uh, she's around summer's age. Okay. And he told me he told me that um that Allie took this little girl, I guess, and put her into a mental institution or something because she didn't want to take care of her. And I was like, really? But then I found a picture. I don't know if it's one of the boys, and I don't know if it might be Allie's daughter. But the little girl looks about six years old, or the boy. I'm not for sure what it is, but I swear to God, they got makeup on. Their hair's cut just like Summer's. Yep. It's weird. And it's sitting on a bed next to Donald. And where did you see this at? It's off of um, Candace's Facebook. Okay. One of her several. Do you know somebody named Dale? Do you know yeah, a lady named Dale? Yes, I do. Can you show about Dale? Yes. Thank you. He, she didn't come. She didn't come up there till later on. She's come up there about, I say about uh, a month, about a month ago or six weeks ago. She came up there by herself and she stayed all night with them. Actually, a couple of nights with them, slept in the boys' bed, um, because the boys ain't there. Donald and them with, and them. and her granddaughter stayed as well. I uh, no, the now the granddaughter wasn't with her when she came up there, and she kind of okay. act like she was scared. I was on the phone with Donald. And Dale, and Dale was like, hello, and she told me her name and her Facebook, and I thought she's just doing this in case she disappeared up there. Right. <laughs> Where was, yeah. you know, somebody knows she was there. So, you know, I was nice to her and everything. She's a Christian woman, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, with no brains as well. And mm -hmm. um, she's up there, and uh, she spends a couple of days, and Donald, I asked him, I said, um, who any who was that woman? You know, when she was there in front of him, he talked nice of her and everything. And then um after she had left, he's like, My gosh, we have all kinds of freaking weirdos coming up here, you know, hanging around and you know, we finally got rid of her. And um but Dale don't know he was talking about her like that. You wow. Know, so he was calling her a weirdo? Yeah, he calls every all, all those people. Wow, because he had a video of her on his Facebook, like, well, not really of her, but she was sitting there on a chair, well, where uh, I guess watching her granddaughter her, watching her granddaughter swing. Yes, you know, and I was hoping to God she didn't take her eyes off of her for even five minutes. But um, anyhow, um, I wouldn't take myself up there, let alone her. I mean, my grandkid. Uh, but anyway. Um, yeah, and then Dale started coming up there and hanging out with them and everything and um, cleaning. She cleaned her yard. She helped Donald clean the yard. I don't know what the hell Candace was doing, but she helped Donald clean the yard. Then she went to work with Donald and helped spot the drywall and everything um, at one location. And then she um, um, did something else. Um Anyway, she's just been, they're using her. And as long as they can use her, they're going to be nice to her, you know, as long as she's. So, is um, they met her through what? Do you know? Like through church or something? Or no, 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 no. She just, she actually heard about the case. Oh, okay. Heard their address and went up there to their home. What? Yeah. She just and showed she, up herself? She showed up herself. And I'll tell you another thing. She put all the money in her gas tank. She couldn't even afford no cigarettes. What time she was up there helping them and and doing for them, she, um, yeah. And and you know, I wish I could have gave her some money to get her some cigarettes or something. But I'm you know I'm in another state. I'm not anywhere near there. But you know, this is what she's doing for them. Wow. And you know, they're users. They're yeah. users. It's all about the money. You know, it's all about the money. Donald kept telling me that you know the reward money. He was really pissed about that, that, you know, which I, I thought it should stay more than six months. You know, I thought it should stay more than six months. Yeah. Actually, what yeah. was he mad about um, pertaining to the award money, though? Just the expiring? He was mad because he felt that, you know, that was donated to Summer and it should become Summer's. It shouldn't go anywhere else. It, you know, once they donated to her, it should belong to her. Nobody Do you think else. He was hoping that it would. I mean, I don't know how. Was he hoping that it would go to him if she came up 
you know, if they found her um, deceased. If, if, if they find Summer, it's not coming to them because they're going to prison. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think that it was just a matter of if the you know when the case goes cold and 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 whatever that the money will be there and yes they could possibly get it yes uh, I mean wherever Summer's body is wherever Summer's body is they got full confidence that it ain't going to be found for yeah. sure wherever it's at I don't know where it's at does people send the doctor. money and stuff oh yeah they get gift cards, all kinds of things. I mean, you got a lot of people out there that is, you know, aiding and abetting this. Yeah. You um, know, because, because see, what we want to do, what we want to do is we want to believe. We, we're always hearing about these parents killing their kids, lying, you know. And, and we would like this one time, one time, we would like to hear, you know, that it wasn't. That, it, that you know, their parents are actually innocent like the little boy that came up missing and the mother you know he was gone for like three days and she's got him back now mm -hmm. you know and she was packing in groceries and he chased the dog away it was a little mexican boy i can't think of his name I'm but um talking about, yeah. I'm but anyway sure. you know praise god praise god that's what we want to hear yes. you know that's what we want to hear so did don I ever mention summer being um diagnosed with like a learning disability or being on the spectrum or anything to that nature yeah donald was diagnosed with um with um i think it's bipolar oh donald is he donald said has bipolar when he went into prison they um diagnosed him with some kind of mental disorders and went jail when he was like 17 and um also, Candace, I guess, has been diagnosed with um, something bipolar and some other stuff, I reckon. And But they can't get medical care because they they don't have no insurance. The kids didn't have no insurance. That's Which I don't understand. Things. Why didn't they get Medicaid for the, the kids? They would have that's, qualified. Well, that's what Candace was telling me. Here's what Candace told me. That Donald refused to take anything from anybody. That, you know, what what he makes working was going to be what came into the household. I don't think that's necessarily the truth because uh, Donald told me that he gets so much money um, per foot for what he does. Um, so anyway, he makes a lot of money doing the drywall stuff, right? Yeah. Right. Um, Glitter wanted to know, Glitter was asking you if you know that if... Um about Summer having any diagnosis as far as like... Oh, no. Summer okay. was absolutely positively normal. She talked like normal children talk. Okay. Um, she was a little hyperactive, yes. Mm -hmm. Summer, you know, while everybody how, how else... How do you know that, though, if you don't know. mind me asking? Donald told me. Okay. He said, you know, yeah, she was she's a, just going by what Donald told her. Or Donald. Yeah, he said, you know, he said that she would, you know, in the church, she just wanted to make her rounds and, you know... Um, Summer was just one of those kids, you know. She's just one of those really social. You could see it in the video. I mean, yeah. Donald didn't have to tell me. I mean, you could see it in the church videos where she was going and trying to be the kids' friends, and then she would go, you know, to um the I can't think of her name, but the girl in the video. Oh, was, Robin. Robin, yes, she really loved Robin, and you know, and you could tell Summer. Summer did that because she really she wanted attention. She wasn't getting at home. Yeah, she was not getting. You know, she was not getting the attention she needed at home. She liked people paying attention to her, and she just wasn't getting it. You know, um, so you know that house that you mentioned with a bad smell. Um, yeah. you told it's not, TBI about that, like in detail. What did you tell TBI about that? Yes, yes, I did. Okay, I did and report it. Were you able to give like a location and stuff like um, that? No, I was only able to give him a timeline because I know it was right there when he was finishing up and getting ready to because then. He told me he had moved farther out to a new job um, somewhere else. And 
I'm not sure if it was the place he just left or the place that he was just starting to work on. But I think it might have been the place he had just left because he was taking his time and he was not really working on it. Um, he was, it, like It took two weeks and then there at the end, Candace had to come in and, that's, and other people trying to help him to get it done. Okay, and how long ago was this again? I'm sorry. I just want to write this down. Um, this was about... I, I would say it's been at least about six weeks. Six I weeks. Mean, yeah, it has to be because I called I called the TBI um, a couple weeks ago. I okay. think it was, and it was like a few weeks, a couple weeks or more before that. Like I said, I thought they had sewer water and stuff. I mean, you just don't want to believe. You just don't. Yeah. Want to believe. You don't want to believe somebody stuck their kid in a wall or the rafters or right. somewhere in a, in a freaking house. But then again, you know, by the time that by the time the house would be destroyed or the walls or what, Donald, how long does, you know, it's like that house is going to be there for 10, 20 years. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I, um, I just want to say real quick because. There is less than 10 minutes before the vigil, and I just wanted to say, ask if, if possible, um, if you could email me at ziggy333 at mail.com afterwards. Um, I'll type it in the chat again. It's ziggy333 at mail.com. Not, not Gmail, but mail.com. We'll put it in the chat a few times just to, just let me know it's you, you know, when you, when you um, email me, if you can, if you don't mind. Um, somebody want... Uh, and you say you'll you'll email me. So, yeah. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank, I really appreciate you doing this. You've you've. I mean, this has been very very interesting. Um, somebody want to ask? Did you ever hear about uh, the birth certificate with for Summer? Like where she was born or anything? I don't know if you would have heard that. But Summer Summer was born um, in Tennessee at one ten Ben Hill Road. She was born at home. Not born at home, but I mean, okay. born there. So the hospital right around there would have been demoted. Okay. Okay. Um, what I'm saying is her birth certificate would have the 110 Ben Hill Road address. Okay. That's okay. what I'm saying. That's what they say is that she was. Um, has has Don ever spoke to you about Cher? Yes. What's, yes. What's he say? I mean, can you share anything? Like, I don't know what particularly, but what's he think about Cher? Well, I can tell you this. <clears throat> Candace hates Cher. She hates Cher with a passion. She don't like Cher at all. And she don't make no... Uh, she's very blunt. <laughs> yeah. On how much she hates Cher. Very yeah. blunt. Yeah. She, she hates Cher with a passion. And Donald, um, he calls Cher a few choice names also. Um, you know, he uses Cher. He, you know, he don't like her, but he's using her. Oh, for her platform? For her platform. Exactly. That's that's who they are. That's what they do. Donald and Candace are two peas in a pot. One's, yeah. one's just as bad as the other. They stick together. They do awful things. And, and, and they sit there all high, drugged up, sucking down their liquor, thinking it's funny. And it's not. It's not funny. You know, you don't treat humans like that. Yeah. You do not, you know, you do not treat humans that way at all. I mean, yeah. you, they're they're horrible people, and they and and Candace is selfish. She's very selfish. She don't care if she gets her boys back. She would, you know, what she said but, that they that they went on a six month plan with the boys, so they don't have to worry about getting them back for a while. So she's still doing her alcohols, her weed smoking, and all of her partying up. Uh -huh. Um. What kind of mother does that? We ain't going to a six months plan with my kids, you know? I'm going to let's go on some get some so, in there and get my freaking kids back in the house ASAP. So, so, so she said that basically she doesn't care what she does right now because she's on she has six basically, months. Basically, basically, yes, that's what she's saying. So they have a chance of getting those kids back, you think? I hope to God not. I hope okay. to God according not. According to them, according to them, they do. According to, I don't know because, um, I don't know. I have. Do they visit them? Do they, do well, they visit them that you know? 
Yeah, they do. Um, they they have supervised visits. They I guess they bring the kids to like um, some location to. Yeah, the last location was Chunky Cheese, and let me tell oh. you, about, and let me tell you about this. Donald just bitched about having to drive there to see him. Are you serious? I'm not. I I am wow. not. Wow. I God knows my heart. God knows I am telling you the truth. Yeah. He was, he didn't, even, as, they don't, they didn't even want to be making the drive. Wow. That, you know, wow. How long of a drive was it? Don't tell us the exact city, but what, how long of a drive, I mean, was he complaining about? It's outside of where they're at. So, they move the kids outside like an of, hour or something, Max? I know it has to be more than that because okay. I'll tell you why they didn't get home till really super late. So I say four or five hours. And you um, are they, the uh, statements before. Now, the statements that you're referring to, um, Don had a few people on YouTube read statements for him. Uh -huh. are, were you saying that you wrote those statements that he had people read for him? Or Yes, I did. Oh, you wow. Did. Okay. okay. Just yes. wanted to clarify that. So you wrote it. Did he help you go over it or did you just come up with it all yourself? And then he was like, oh, that's good. He, that's, he, yeah, that's good. I wrote it all myself. I, I was trying to get him. I thought if I wrote him some statements and get him, you know, focused on summer, then uh -huh. he would start opening up and talking about her and doing what all the YouTubers and everybody felt that he yeah, should well. be doing. You know, I thought maybe he just needed a little help. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But uh -huh. But they don't need a little help. What they needed was somebody to cover, to give them something to cover up whatever happened. And they, and yeah, this is great. You know, I can put that out there and get these people off my back and off Candace's back. You know, yeah. about. We thought, and, we and thought it was stuff. written too well for it to be. <laughs> and then once, oops, go ahead. Sorry. Once I realized the mistake I had made, actually, I had gave him other ones. I deleted them so he couldn't use them. But. Oh. Um, but you know, yeah, you know, nobody had to tell me what to say. You know what I'm saying? Right. I he able, shouldn't. He shouldn't have had to have somebody help him. Like, I, I, I wrote from his it, heart. Well, see, I know how I would write if one of, if something happened to someone. Yeah. That I wrote. And you know, that's basically what I was putting down, and you know, and he was using it. What about and, what he was reading on his YouTube channel? Was that from you, or was that? Just that was not really his. He's got somebody else writing for him now. Okay. I just want to let you know that there is somebody else. They Candace calls it um, their manager. They, <laughs> yeah, oh God. It's, now they have a manager, guys. <laughs> that came from their manager. Matter of fact, their manager is also um, at the Doctor Phil show and everything, <gasps> giving them information. You know, telling them what to say and how to do it. Oh my God! Everything, you know what I'm saying? And 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 I, they put me on a three way call. Well, you know, if you want me to come back at a certain time, I could tell you more. I could tell you. Oh, I would love you uh, to come back. Uh, if you could, can you but, um, um, email me when we get? I want to go see the prayer visual. I'm wanting to see the prayer visual also. Yeah. So uh, yeah, just one more question because we yeah prayer visual two minutes, guys. Uh, are the boys, do you know what, are the boys separated? Do you know? No, they're not. They're all together. They're all together That's according true. to yes. them? There's no truth to the older boy being separate from the other boys. No, they're okay. not. All the boys okay. are together. Okay. All right. Well, uh, can, yeah, can you email me? Z333? Hold on. Let me write it down. At Ziggy333? Ziggy333. I'll write it, put it in the comments right now. Okay. At mail.com. And I'll... Ziggy333 at mail.com. Not Gmail, not Gmail, but mail, M A I L dot com. Okay. Ziggy333 at mail.com. I'll, I'll definitely email it's you. It's in my description of every video. So, so, so yeah. So let's go check out the prayer bridge, you guys. Thank you so much, Prayer Gardens. Wow. That yes, was thank, thank you, you, Prayer Gardens. I, we really appreciate all the information and we look forward to talking with you again as well. Thank you guys for letting me just get some of this off. My oh, yeah. Oh, you're like, very welcome. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, just just email me. We'll we'll talk when it's good for you. So, all right. All right. Bye, Thank guys. You. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye.